everyone good morning you know it's hard to believe it's that time of year already every year around this time i like to do a video where i review my favorite pictures from the previous year so this week i wanted to take you along with me as i review 2023 and my top 10 favorite pictures that i took last year now these were actually really hard to narrow down 2023 for me was just an incredible year for wildlife photography and wildlife encounters in general so it was really hard for me to just pick 10 pictures 10 experiences that i had and uh, include them in this video because the whole year was just filled with incredible experiences but i was finally able to do so as i've done in previous years these images are in no way ordered from least favorite to favorite anything like that except for maybe the last picture that's probably my favorite picture of the bunch. And these pictures, some of them you may be wondering why I've included in this list or in this video. But for me, the pictures that I get when I'm out photographing wildlife, I absolutely love them. But just as importantly, or even more importantly sometimes, are the memories that are created, the experiences that I have, and the stories that lead up to the pictures. So some of these pictures have a special story behind them or some special moment that I had with that animal. And that's partly why I've included some of these pictures in this week's video. So without any more delay, let's jump right into my top 10 favorite images from 2023. Let's start things off with a recent adventure that I had. Some time that I spent in the mountains with some beautiful mule deer. Mule deer have always been one of my favorite animals. And this year I was able to dedicate some time photographing them and to just be with them in their mountainous home. During this trip, I was able to explore and familiarize myself with some beautiful country. I was able to photograph some decent bucks for the area in some outstanding light. But my favorite image wasn't of one of these bucks. It was actually a doe or female deer. The sun was setting. I was photographing some bucks in a field in front of me. I glanced behind me and saw this doe approaching the skyline with a beautiful background behind. Rather than continue to photograph the bucks, I turned my attention to the doe, and I'm so grateful that I did. This quickly became one of my favorite pictures from 2023, and a moment that will forever reside in my memory. Surprise wildlife encounters that lead to fun pictures are always so exciting for wildlife photographers. You know, most of the time when we head out with our camera, we know more or less what to expect, what we'll run into, or at least we hope for certain animals that we'll run into. But every once in a while, we run into something that we weren't expecting at all, and it becomes so much more special when we're actually able to photograph that animal. I had an experience like this in 2023 that led to one of my favorite pictures from that year. While hiking through the woods, looking for owls to photograph, I had the feeling I was being watched. Looking around, I soon found a curious marten looking at me from a nearby tree. This was a species I didn't have many images of and haven't had many encounters with. Luckily, I had my camera out and ready to go, so no time was wasted as I photographed this inquisitive member of the weasel family as he scurried from branch to branch and peeked around the tree trunk looking at me. I was able to take quite a few pictures that I really liked, but one stood out from the others and quickly became one of my favorites from 2023. Early one morning last summer in Alaska, I set out in hopes to find some bears to photograph. It was a foggy morning and I had a feeling there would soon be some nice colors when the sun finally rose above the horizon. While searching for bears to photograph, I came across a lone ptarmigan. He was perched on a rock, silhouetted against the sky. The sun soon rose and everything as far as I could see turned into a fiery orange landscape. Luckily, the ptarmigan stayed put just long enough for me to get one of my favorite pictures from 2023. Last year, when I did my video reviewing my favorite pictures from 2022, my top image was a picture of a kit fox creeping at me through the grass. Along with wolves, kit foxes are my absolute favorite species to spend time with and photograph. This year, I was able to spend some time with various kit fox families. This is a species that is under increased pressure year after year, so every moment I can spend with them is time that I just absolutely cherish. 
on one occasion, I was with one of my favorite families. This is a family I already had some fun images of. I was waiting outside the den when all of a sudden mom came home with a rodent she had caught. She paused on the side of the den and I was able to get a quick picture. It's a simple image, but it tells a story of a species that I love. It just really resonates with me. In previous years, when I select my favorite images, there's usually a handful of them that make it in there that are from my time spent photographing bears in Alaska. Well, this year was no different. This year was really difficult to narrow down my favorites as I was able to take so many that I absolutely loved. Bears fishing, cubs playing, and some other images that were just fun and different. My favorite picture though wasn't action filled. In fact, it was the complete opposite. A family of bears napping on the tundra. I loved the colors and the cubs all snuggled close to mom. I love wildlife encounters like that and absolutely cherish those moments spent with animals where they feel so comfortable with me being there photographing them. On the subject of Alaska, I've got some spots available still for one of my workshops this summer. So if you want to photograph those beautiful bears in that amazing landscape, check out the link in the description below. You can get more details there. It truly is an amazing experience and I've made it as convenient and comfortable as possible for you to photograph those beautiful bears. You know, it's no secret, over the years I've become absolutely addicted to duck and waterfowl photography. Well, 2023 did not disappoint. I was able to photograph so many incredible species. Wood ducks, mallards, northern pintails, and so many others. I was able to get some really fun images of these different species, but my favorite picture came one morning in my floating blind while out photographing golden-eyed ducks. The light was beautiful, and I had one of my favorite ducks in front of me. It took a while of watching and waiting, but he finally gave me a great wing flap, and I was able to get another of my favorite images from 2023. My most recent adventure that I shared with you here on YouTube was a week of wildlife photography in Florida. What an amazing trip that was. I was able to photograph so many awesome animals. If you haven't seen that series yet, go check it out. It was such a fun trip. I was able to see and photograph some pretty amazing animals. Herons, skimmers, ibises, alligators, raccoons, and even an armadillo. While reviewing the pictures from this trip, there were quite a few that stood out to me. I thought it was going to be one of these that I picked as my favorite. Then there was another image, one of a raccoon. I liked it, but I didn't give it much thought at first. Then I looked at it again, and I liked it a little bit more. Then again, and a little bit more. This continued, and an image that I didn't think much of at first eventually became one of my favorites. It may sound a little bit cheesy, but to me, it's become an image that represents hope and persistence, and it's just become a very motivating image for me to look at. Each year, I try to spend as much time as I possibly can in Alaska. It's a beautiful state, just filled with such a huge diversity of wildlife. Last year was amazing because I was able to return multiple times and spend more time than I usually do in that beautiful state. One of my trips was extra special to me as I was able to photograph many species I had never been able to before. Puffins, auklets, and so many other species of seabirds. But what really made the trip special was that I got to see and photograph multiple Arctic foxes, a species I've dreamed about photographing since I was just a kid. It was a special experience and resulted in one of my favorite images from 2023. Last year, I had the amazing opportunity to photograph a bobcat. This isn't a species that I photograph a lot compared to many other species, so I try to capitalize on these opportunities as much as I can when they happen. I've photographed them multiple times before. Most of those times, this is done from a blind or from very far away. But this encounter was different. This time, the bobcat knew where I was and actually came towards me. It heard something in the grass that my inferior human ears couldn't. I held my breath, not wanting to make any sound that would remind the cat of my presence or distract it. Eventually, he made his way so close that I couldn't even fit all of him in my frame, and I was able to get an extremely close-up image of him stalking through the grass, ready to pounce at a moment's notice. Such an amazing encounter with an incredibly gorgeous animal. 
All right, let's finish things off with my favorite picture I took in 2023. Bears, foxes, martens, bobcats, what an amazing year it's been. So many images and so many new adventures and memories. Last autumn, I was able to spend some time photographing great gray owls. This is one of my favorite species to photograph, and I was so blessed to be able to come away from those trips with so many fun pictures. On one of these trips, I was with another photography on one of my private workshops. We were in this amazing forest photographing an owl. We watched it as it went from perch to perch, giving us so many photo opportunities. At one point, it flew and perched just a few feet above our heads. We spent the majority of the day with this owl, and I was able to get so many images of it flying through the trees, but one stood out from the others and quickly became my favorite image I took in 2023. I hope you've enjoyed my top 10 favorite pictures from 2023 and the different adventures I was able to take you along with me on last year. It was such an incredible year for wildlife photography and I hope you had success as well. You know, I remember mentioning about a year ago when I made a similar video, my favorite pictures from 2022. I mentioned how incredible the year had been and that I was so excited for the opportunities to come in 2023. I'm just gonna echo the same sentiment for this year. I am so excited for the adventures to come this year, for the species I'm gonna challenge myself to find and photograph, for projects I'll be finishing, and projects I'll be starting and continuing to work on. It's gonna be such a fantastic year and I wish you the best success with your wildlife photography as well. It's a wonderful time of year to be spending time with family and loved ones. I hope you're able to be doing that. I'm actually gonna be doing that, dedicating some time to just spend with family. I'll be turning the cameras off and I actually won't have a video for you next week, but I'll be back at you again two weeks from now. So I'll see you then. I always appreciate the support. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. We'll see you two weeks from now.